Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. This is just a short video to talk about Goldberg there. Because, unfortunately, since Goldberg came back, Goldberg has been just getting unnecessary hate. And also, this is, uh, a lot of people try to use this excuse, like, for example, Bray Wyatt getting released, or all these wrestlers getting released by WWE, and, like, oh, they fired them for this guy? Or it's not even just Goldberg, but it's, like, Goldberg who gets the most hate for some reason. Like, why? Like, what makes him any different than Brock Lesnar? Brock, if anything, they're both of the same fucking... OP motherfuckers, you know, they were fucking, there's a reason why they were the most OP freaking, most fucking unstoppable force in the fucking Here Comes the Pain game, but it's not even just like about video games, it's also like, fuck, there's a reason why fucking people viewed, like, they're viewed as badasses. And I don't understand why the fuck, like, seriously, the reason why I'm making this video is because it's not even just Smarks, but it's also some anti-Smarks hating on Goldberg. And I'm just thinking to myself, why? So, like, these people, like, you know, they advocate that fucking, you know, oh, we don't want midgets to be in the main event, whatever fuck. We want wrestlers who are good. We want wrestling to be good. Yeah, again, anti-smarks. They're hating on Goldberg, even though he's, like, big. I don't know. I'm not trying to fucking pick on a certain YouTuber, but for some reason, I saw, like, videos that recommended to me, and, like, this guy was, like, a Cena fan. Like, I'm not trying to pick on anybody, but it's, like, they hate on Goldberg, but they like John Cena. Are you fucking kidding me? Like Goldberg, Goldberg, he, he's a he's a the unstoppable stop force again. Goldberg was a monster. Goldberg fucking kicked ass. Goldberg Goldberg was a believable motherfucker, and it take that WWE to freaking make a parody of a character because he was that fucking over with the fans and he was that fucking unstoppable, that fucking badass that WWE made a parody with Gilbert and to say that fucking he's overrated is fucking joke for fuck's sakes so what? like who gives a shit that the guy just only does first of all, people complain that oh you know, he's a part-timer. Like, what do you expect? Like, if anything, like, do you want to be on the main roster facing jobbers? You know, when, like, if anything, if he wasn't on the main roster, he should be fucking buried, like, burying the entire roster and beating them in squash matches. But apparently, if they do that, you know, they just got to do it to make him look strong. You guys going to complain. And you guys wouldn't even want him to be on the show every week. So, who, what, what's the fuck? Who cares? And fucking, like, who cares? Like, uh, for you people that say that Goldberg, oh, he uh, he doesn't do, he only has two moves. At least there are moves. You know, it's not like that's, like, the only th thing he does is uh, done, especially in, like, the rest of his career. Like, when he was wrestling WCW, shit like that, that's not, like, the only thing he did. You know what I mean? But those are his established moveset, the spear and jackhammer. You know what I mean? And at least it's an established moveset than all these fucking vanilla midget motherfuckers who don't even do moves. They just do fucking kicks and flips. And besides, Goldberg doesn't need to do that. You know, even though, like, I have a key, like, oh, you know, wrestlers do more moves. Like, just, like, because, like, it's really because, like, Smarks, they claim that fucking guys like Dana Bryan's a good wrestler. Yeah, the guy doesn't do any fucking moves. But at least with Goldberg, you know, he has an established moveset. You know, and it's their cool, badass moves. And for all you people that complain about wrestlers, like, you know, guys, guess what? Every wrestler who has been the top star has been done five moves of doom, okay? Guys like Cena, like, like it or not, it is a wrestling thing. Even though it's like, the thing is with Cena, it's like kind of, it's like uncool moves, you know what I mean? But Reigns, like, yes, he does five moves as well. It's not like that's the only thing he does, but it's also he does five moves to do, like five moves, like you know the fucking clothesline, the Superman punch, and the spear, and even the drop. Like it's cool, you know he does cool moves. Same thing with Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, Hulk Hogan. All these guys have done fucking five moves. Why is there a problem if they hate on Goldberg or fucking you know? Cause yeah, seriously, and I'm seeing like guys like Anti Smart are hating guys like fucking Goldberg. But they're gonna fucking like guys like Cena? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, what made, like... <laughs> okay, so basically people are angry that it's not fucking Lesnar. Like, that Lesnar is not facing Lashley. Again, 
Maybe because Lashley, I mean, Lesnar, it's not fucking coming. Like, first of all, there's apparently rumors that Lesnar is not coming back to WWE, even though he's a contract or something. Or they're not ready to bring him back. Maybe they actually might do Goldberg versus Lashley. It's all about patience. But it's like, who cares? Like, fucking Lashley versus uh, Goldberg is still sort of a dream match in a way. Because it's Spear versus Spear, right? There are two badasses. You got the sort of... I mean, he's not supposed... He's not really Goldberg of... Currently, because you're ruining him. But if anything, he's the black fucking Goldberg somewhat. Versus fucking goddamn the Goldberg of the past. You know what I mean? So it's it's cool. You know what I mean? It's 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 something to look forward to. You know what I mean? And Lashley's like... Again, when you can't get Le Lesnar... Le Goldberg is actually another good choice to have. You know what I mean? Again, Goldberg is just as cool as Lesnar. So the complaint that fucking... It's not Les Lesnar is like who cares? Cause fucking Lesnar again, he's probably not coming ready to come back. Like, have you seen him recently? The guy is fucking just he's not looking like if he was to come back, he would have his hair cut, he would fucking not have a beard and shit like that. He would fucking look like how he would normally look. He's enjoying his time off. You know, can you really blame him? Um You know, and also the fans who hate on Goldberg probably like Ryback better and they don't know like like, seriously, they probably don't know who Goldberg was until fucking the whole Ryback, like, fucking when they're chanting, the Goldberg, you know, with the last, like, fucking Ryback. Like, again, it goes to show that a lot of these fans who are hating on Goldberg probably didn't watch wrestling back in the good old days. Or didn't watch wrestling when it was at least good. They were started watching when fucking guys like Cena were in the main event. And even Reigns, they started watching when wrestling was sucking. Or, and they fucking became fans of Ryback. I don't hate Ryback. I don't hate Cena. I don't hate Reigns. But to act like they're better than Goldberg or they're not even at the same sort of likability is fucking horseshit. Okay? To hate fucking Goldberg, but you like Roman Reigns for fuck's sake. Or even you like Cena, who's a PG fucking goof, for God's sakes. He's literally... Oh, his act is acting like a child. You know, hey, he's the goofiest motherfucker, but you're gonna hate guys like Goldberg who actually display some badassery? What the fuck? Oh, he doesn't do much moves, even though I like guys like Lesnar who does fucking just the suplex now and fucking the F5. Even though that's not a problem, it's just an established move set now, but fucking Brock Lesnar does more than that. Let's act like fucking... But the thing is, that's what his, like, his main moves now. The suplexes and fucking goddamn that five. Why are you hating on Goldberg if he does that shit? <laughs> Seriously. Come on here. God damn it. It's, fuck, it's fucking a lot. I don't know. It's just I don't get it with the hate. Like, okay. And this also... Go, let's also talk about the hate. This all started because he came back and just because he beat Kevin Owens. That is also the sparks reason to hate on Goldberg. They hate... Or not just that. They hate that... Fucking he defeated La Lesnar at fucking Survivor Series on that minute. Even though it was fucking cool. It was actually fucking badass. It was totally unexpected. And just because he beat fucking Kevin Owens, who the fuck cares? Kevin Owens was the worst drawing hi champion in history, people. Why should we pretend to care that he was fucking, that he lost to Goldberg? He was the shittiest champion. He was the lowest drawing champion that time. He sucked as champion. Who cares that he was fucking... He lost to Goldberg. If anything, he made that match better for the title. It helped the title to be more relevant by putting it on Goldberg. And then him losing it to Lesnar. It helped the title. Like it or not, even though they're part-timers. It helped the title. Just their name value helped the title. Not fucking Finn Balor or fucking fat-ass Owens. God almighty. And who gives us that he beat the Fiend Finn a uh, fucking, whatever, M Bray Wyatt. Who cares? Fucking Bray Wyatt wasn't even cutting. He's a joke. He was a goofball. The guy was also fucking not cutting as a fucking main roster guy. The guy wasn't even that great of a draw. The guy was fucking just a fat fuck. Okay? And for people to play like, oh, he buried Goldberg, or Bucky buried fucking Wyatt. If anything, fucking Rollins fucked up his fucking goddamn run. Or just all, just in general stupid shit. Like, who cares? It wasn't even that interesting, okay? 
And why was already ruined anyways? It's just fucking okay. This is just something why he's trying to come back from him with the fiend shit. It's just fucking goofy. And who guess what? After the Goldberg shit, he became more goofy than ever by bringing back that stupid swamp fucking shit and had that swamp fight with Bray fucking Braun Strowman. So who cares? Like in the end of the day, guy's a goofball. I, I, and if any, again, the guy is really there to also help the talent. He helped guys like Drew McIntyre. He he tried to help Strowman. Like, he lost to Strowman at WrestleMania. You cannot deny that the guy actually just tr does try to put people over and trying to help the talent. That's why the guy is still coming back, like it or not. He is trying to help people. He is trying to help this business, or at least save the business from fucking just being irrelevant and not people giving a fuck. But hating on him, like, why? What's the fucking hate for? Because, again, like it or not, Goldberg does rule. He does draw on viewership. For example, when he fucking returned a few weeks ago, or two weeks ago, the fucking, that video on YouTube, of, on, on fucking WWE's YouTube channel was trending. Okay? It was like, it fucking got millions of view, views. Like it or not, Goldberg still a draw. It's not like going to be a big draw because wrestling fucking sucks. And why would we waste time fucking just for one good thing? The reality is Goldberg is fucking badass. He's cool and people love Goldberg. People want to see him. For God's sake. Him fucking, just him fucking squashing Dolph Ziggler. It's not because of fucking Dolph Ziggler. He's solely right. No. It's because fucking he's an intense worker. He's a fucking badass. Okay? And people love seeing Goldberg. Okay? So, all I have to say is stop with the Goldberg hate. I'm just surprised, like, it just, again, like, what, the same people hating on him, really, you guys like Cena? Like, really? <laughs> like, that goof? Like, don't get me wrong, when I was a kid, I liked Cena, and nowadays, I'm kind of like, I'm like, 50-50 on him, but come on, just say he's better than Goldberg, come on here, or even Reigns, for God's sakes, with, like, fucking, even though, like, fucking Reigns, sure, He's got a better gimmick now. But the reality, the fucking guy, what he said about Undertaker, like, go fuck yourself, it Reigns. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, overall, the, fucking stop with the Goldberg. Hey, Goldberg rules, man. He's just there to fucking help the company. If anything, without him, wrestling, and re, what even, like, what, what do you want? Do you really want Lashley to face some uh, jobber? Like, come on. At least it's a better match. If fucking both of them weren't, like, both Lesnar and Lashley were not facing... Lesnar and fucking Goldberg were not facing Lashley. What we would get? At least we're getting a good match at SummerSlam. So who gives shit? Stop with the Goldberg hate. You know, it's good that he's fucking still in the company because at least he's bringing a little bit of enjoyment. The guy can talk. Can talk. Stop saying he can't cut promos because actually he is cutting good promos. He's badass. The fucking guy can actually has character, charisma. Fucking he has that natural charisma to him. You know what I mean? This is entrance is fucking badass. People are still chanting Goldberg for fuck's sake. And to act like he's the reason why fucking guys like why is this getting fucking released or fuck is fucking retarded. You're just finding an excuse to hate on this guy and it's sickening. Leave the fucking guy alone. He's trying to help this business. Hi ay ay. And he's a good wrestler too. He's better than all these fucking retards that got released anyways, okay? He's better than all of them. He's worth the damn money. Alright, I'm just kidding real motherfuckers. You know, get your muscles and shit and actually aspire to be like Goldberg for fuck's sakes. You know, maybe you get some chicks and fuck them and be like, cash me the bitch, go, oh shit, oh shit, and dream is cold, so I mean, this thing there. Cheers. Alright, that's, that's a thunga, say people, until next time. Peace. Yeah, bye.